rather than a road there. He eventually finds the stranded cars, including one with the mom and her children. Moments later, a fire truck makes its way to the cars. At one point, a firefighter was knocked off of his feet and almost swept away, but saved himself by grabbing onto a fire hose. Everyone was able to get out okay. Good for them. New information this morning as hackers say they have struck a dating website, stealing the personal information of millions of people and threatening to release it. The website is Ashley Madison, a dating app for married men and women looking to have an affair. And our Joe St. George tells us the people in the Richmond area are one of the top users of this website. You know, some people are just not going to be faithful, no matter who it is they're married to. In her 30 years running Kiss and Makeup Lingerie in Richmond, Ruth McMahon admits she's seen her fair share of cheaters. Ask me about people that cheat. And now she says a lot could be busted after the website, Good. Ashley Madison, whose slogan is, life is short, have an affair, was hacked. Well, the hackers are now threatening to expose had those had who signed choose. up. According to a 2013 Uncloak survey, Lord, Richmond ranked you. sixth for most users. Surprised? Who says we shouldn't be? A lot of people forget to fan the flame. Because really, I think communication is a big piece of why people cheat. They don't talk to each other. They don't know what each other want. The American Sociological Review reports That's that 20% right. of married men and 10% of married women have cheated. Most at risk to cheat, men married to a female who makes more money than them. Ashley Madison is more catered towards married people. Richmonder Michaela Lutz explains to us the site is built just like a dating service, but for those with wedding rings. It didn't feel good. I definitely would never do it again. And while she vows to never cheat again, she says we shouldn't be surprised. So many have. With this thought. Social media professor Marcus Messner says the hackers could be a vindictive spouse. Hacking has gotten easier. Well, some of these social media sites, you can expect that their security is not necessarily as you know, as, uh, as tough as the Pentagon. As for the website, it's been temporarily shut down. And for Ruth, she says if you think you're about to be exposed, come clean first. If people really make an effort for romance in their marriage, they have a better chance of things succeeding. What? That was I opening. I know, it? right? <laughs> well, that was Joe St. George reporting. There are no official numbers for how many people in Richmond could be impacted here. Now, this could affect their relationships good, and their personal good, information. Good. Hackers Lord, apparently have them. credit Thank card numbers father. for some who have used the site. That picture in the front of the website, shh, like this. Now it's like, hey, hey guess what? Yes, <laughs> wow, wow. wow. Hey, what do you do when you break your guitar? <laughs> Well, this guy built a new one out of some items that might surprise you. This is pretty surprising. Right now, we're not dealing too much with a heat advisory all across Central Virginia, currently just down towards the south, but will it be extended for today? I've got all those details headed your way. On the next Ellen. Hello. A surprise for fans in England. Plus, Halle Berry and Hillary Duff's new look. I can't put my finger on something's different about you. Today at 3 on CBS 6. CBS 6, the weather authority, keeping you ahead of the storm. Jay Tronfield, he will make you feel like you are the only client. He pays that much attention to his clients. Elizabeth West, she was wonderful. Scale of 1 to 10, she'd be 100. David Durrett is a wonderful person. Not only that, he's a wonderful lawyer. I'm glad that I had Tronfield's office to lean on. This is their expertise. Uh, and it showed. The end result showed. On vacation, what's the most important thing you can give your family? The world's best beach? An impressive pool? An out-of-this-world water park? Surfing lessons? Or scuba diving adventures? How about meeting a few famous friends? Or dinner at 20 different restaurants? No. Since everything's included, those are the things Beaches gives your family. The most important thing you can give your family is you. Call 1-800-BEACHES. Trust is one of the most important factors in any decision. But when you have a family depending on you, it takes on a whole new meaning. And that's especially true when you're looking for a car. With so much riding on your decision, you want to feel like you're not only getting the most reliable car, but that it's also coming from one of the most reliable dealerships. And we get that feeling every time we walk into McGeorge. McGeorge Toyota. With over 100,000 happy customers, we earn your trust every day. 
Are you looking to turn lazy days of summer into new adventures? Then join the quest to find art doors and discover unique works of art throughout Richmond. Your photos posted to Instagram can lead to great prizes. 40 creative doors represent new beginnings for homeless individuals served by Virginia's supportive housing. The quest is free, but your donations will support VSH and Art on Wheels. If you find a door you love, you can bid to own it. To get the map and join the quest, visit findartdoorsrva.org. There's one. Let's go find the next one. Owens and Minor, a community of teamwork. Child Savers guides our community's children through life's critical moments with trauma-informed mental health and child development services. At the core, Child Savers' mission is a fundamental commitment to the mental well-being of children and the positive bond between adult and child. We support this with clinical treatment, education, and training services that offer reassurance, healing, and the skills necessary to achieve normal life and development. Child Savers believes that all children can be safe, happy, healthy, and ready to learn. The $600 Walmart gift card is back. Weekdays on CBS 6 this morning. CBS 6 Sky Tracker, sponsored by Ba Auto Body. And good Tuesday morning. You know what? You're going to see some similarities between Monday and Tuesday. Hope it's not the fact that you're running behind. But temperatures are going to be soaring. Here's what's happening right now outside of our Dominion Sky Cam. We are dealing with some cloud cover across central Virginia right now with temperatures at 77 degrees, feeling as if we are at 78. But don't worry. A break from the heat is coming pretty soon. I'm talking the next 24 hours. But right now, it is rather warm. I mean, right now in West Point, 79, 79 in Williamsburg. You head into the city of Richmond, 77, Charlottesville at 78 degrees. And some locations do feel slightly warmer, especially further off towards the east, where we are feeling as if we're at 82 in West Point. 82 is what it feels like in Williamsburg and go over to Kilmarnock, where we do feel as if we are at a warm 83 degrees. Now, we do have quite a bit of cloud cover all across the region, even some uh, very light showers down towards South Hill. But the main rain event is just off towards our west. This is our cold front. We do have rain ahead of the cold front, and it's slowly going to ease its way across central Virginia. And as it does, we could be dealing with some strong to even severe storms later on this afternoon. That is why the SPC has already issued a marginal risk for severe weather. Now, majority of these really just dealing with winds in excess of 40 miles per hour. We're not really looking to see heavy amounts of severe weather across the region, but still, we are going to see a little bit of a potential. And this is what we are looking at as far as the future track. Remember, this is not the gospel, but it does give us a good idea of when, what, and how much to expect. Isolated showers developing further off towards the west. They continue to move to the eastern extent right around the 2 o'clock hour. Some of these storms will be heavy when it comes to rainfall. Quite a bit of clouds of ground lightning. And notice how isolated they are. They'll continue to move further off towards the east. As we go into rush hour, we will see a few lingering storms, and that will continue as we go into the overnight hours. But then the cold front sweeps through. Clearing takes place on into Wednesday. Tons of sunshine, dry conditions. Thursday, a little bit more humid, but definitely nothing compared to the past two days. So today, we're going to get up to 94 degrees, feeling as if we are right around 103. But Wednesday and Thursday, we're talking 80s with low humidity. Now, as we go into Friday, yes, we will be in the upper 80s, but that humidity will return. So remember to continue to stay hydrated, especially today. But if you've got anything to do outdoors, Wednesday and Thursday are your best bets. Kristen, how are the roadways looking? Well, moments ago, Nikki D, we were just seeing some delays. Interstate 95 North as folks were coming up over the James River Bridge, approaching Broad Street and eventually Interstate 64. You can see that we do have police units that are out there. That's the northbound direction. The left and center lanes are going to be blocked all due to bridge inspection. So traffic was temporarily stopped, and that's what was causing the brake check in the area. You can see that line of traffic doing a great job sticking to that far right lane. So heads up in this cone zone. Make sure that you are taking your time. And here's that traffic that's just getting by in the right lane there. Two travel lanes are shut down. Out to our maps we go. We have other cone zones you need to be aware of. This one just north of the Bryan Park Interchange, Interstate 95 North at Parham Road. So heads up through the area. We are going to see two traffic Travel lanes shut down here, center and right lanes. Green changes over to a little bit of yellow, so you will indicate some brake lights there. Back to you. All right, thanks. New this morning, they say that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, a Texas man needed a new guitar when his broke. He used wooden cigar boxes to build another <laughs> one. Photojournalist Mike Kinney shows us. My name is Presley Avonshad. I've been playing the guitar for about 21 years or so. Well, I found this 
this article, and it kind of gave the history of the cigar box guitar. I mean, I was just completely fascinated by it. It was something so simple. I went to the hardware store and got a few things and found an old box and put it together. And, and then when I strummed the first time, I thought, you know, wow, this is really, <laughs> it doesn't sound like a piece of wood stuck through a cigar box, it sounds like a musical instrument. It just had this old bluesy tone to it. I thought, wow, this is really cool. This was the, the first one I put together, and you know, it's pretty much just holes drilled in this piece of pine. That's a one string, they call them a canjo. <laughs> so, yeah, and I just start out with just, of course, want a wooden box and something that's not too thick. End up cutting some holes in it. Putting these are grommets from the craft store, these sink you know, different sink drains. No two are like, you can have two identical cigar boxes and think you've built them the same way and they sound completely different. It's a fun little musical instrument to play. It's a, it's a fun hobby to have, something to do. Uh, when I sell one, I could build another one and you know, I'd keep them on with if I could, but the building them is the fun part for me. Golly, that bluesy sound, I know, right? Isn't that great? Wow, I gotta build me one of those. <laughs> uh, here's some good news for the University of Richmond today. Uh, the honors bestowed on the spiders and how it could help them recruit teachers and staff. And partying like it's 1999 at nine in the morning while breakfast clubbing is taking off, and the one thing you will not find at a party like this. Justice starts at Commonwealth Law Group. 999-9999. Hey, Coach, you're gonna put my girl in the game today, right? Because we all know what happened last time. <laughs> that, that's the play you're gonna choose? Come on! What was that? Watching you coach is like watching a train wreck. You know, it's probably not a big deal to you, but do you have any idea how hard we worked to come out here and do this? How'd you even get your position? Come home to your best friend. Hey. Adopt from the Richmond SPCA. Now at Empire Today, save big on new floors with our buy one, get two free sale. Buy floors for one room and get carpet, hardwood, or laminate for two more rooms. Free when you pay for padding and installation. Empire makes flooring easy. We bring samples to your home, give free estimates during your appointment, and professionally install your project right. So save big with Empire's buy one, get two free sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300. Empire. Today. For all of your plumbing, electrical, heating, and cooling needs, call Michael and Son today and get an $89 AC Precision Tune-Up. If you can, we can. Michael and Son. Everybody talks, everybody talks. It started with the whisper. People just can't stop talking about Ford. Announcing the Ford Summer Sales Event. Now get our best offers of the year on Focus, Fusion, and Escape. 0% financing for 72 months, plus $750 cash back, and no payments until fall. That's 0% financing for 72 months, plus $750 cash back, and no payments until fall on Fusion, Escape, and Focus during the Ford Summer Sales Event. The Iran nuclear deal. Good deal or bad deal? Iran keeps their nuclear facilities. Military sites can go uninspected. Restrictions end after 10 years. Then Iran could build a nuclear weapon in two months. Iran has violated 20 international agreements and is the leading state sponsor of terrorism. Congress should reject a bad deal. We need a better deal. Buy smart at iMart Express. I love being able to buy and wear my glasses the same day. Why would anybody wait two weeks? Two pairs start at $38.71 and two pairs with progressive lenses just $76.92. I got two pair with progressive lenses and they were ready before I could finish my lunch. They have lots of choices at great prices. And oh, my glasses are ready. Buy smart at iMart Express. Call Michael and Son for all your plumbing, electrical, heating, and cooling needs. And 
And right now, get up to $500 off a standby generator. If you can't, we can. Michael and Son. CBS 6 Traffic, powered by James River Air. Honey, uh, your husband misses you. We want you back home. We don't care what you've done. You... Where is this Chesterfield mother? What police are saying about her disappearance and where family members think uh, she might be. Back in the spotlight, controversial politician Joe Morrissey making headlines again. The two men facing off today to try and replace him in Virginia's House of yes, Delegates. That's right. And coming to the rescue, what two Chesterfield police officers did to save a man's life that is earning them recognition from the department this morning. Why, this Working for you, this is CBS 6 Early Morning. It is 5 a.m. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for starting your Tuesday with us. I'm Rob Cardwell. And I'm Reba Hollingsworth. We're going to get to today's top stories in just a moment. And a look at the roads with Kristen. Yep. Uh, great googly moogly. It was hot yesterday. <laughs> oh, it was so incredibly hot. But I have to say, I'm telling you, you went to the pool and you said it wasn't so bad. You were yeah, outside the water. It wasn't that hot, but I was inside the pool. You were in the water. <laughs> yeah. A very cool day yesterday. The rest of us were sparkling. Yes, and not in a ladylike <laughs> yeah, way. Yes, right, right. It has been hot, and today's going to be another <laughs> hot day to try. It's 77 degrees right now, and it does feel as if we are at 78 already this morning. Now, temperatures across the board, notice in Kilmarnock, we are coming in at 79 degrees, 76 right now in Tappahannock. Fredericksburg at 78. Going into Emporia, where we are at 73, one of the cooler spots on the map, but we are dealing with quite a bit of cloud cover and even a few light showers down towards the south, but our main event is just to our western extent. This is ahead of a cold front that's going to sweep through central Virginia as we go further into the afternoon hours, meaning we are anticipating some isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Now, it's not going to be consistent, but it will be isolated on and off throughout the morning, afternoon, and even evening. But it's going to be nice to cool off from temperatures that are going to feel as if we are in the triple digits. Guys? Wow. And we have much more on today's heat still ahead, including the foods doctors say you should eat when it gets this hot and the warning the feds have for companies who have employees working outside. Good information. Breaking news to our north and west this morning where strong storms are causing problems in Indianapolis. Heavy rain is flooding apartment buildings, leading to evacuations. And in New York, storms are to blame for sparking this power line fire. Crews are still working to repair the problem, which left thousands without power. Developing right now, the search is still going on for missing Chesterfield mother. Candy Basham vanished last week while on her way to see her son in North Carolina. This morning, our Jasmine Norwood has the latest on the search for her and what her husband thinks may have happened. Jazz. Well, Rob, people down in Gastonia, North Carolina, people here in Chesterfield, and now thousands of people on social media are all taking part in this search, spreading the word and trying to find this Chesterfield mom. Now, if you take a look at your screen, take a look at these pictures here. This is the Chesterfield mom. Her name is Candy Basham, and her husband tells us he hasn't she heard from her since last bitch. Friday. He says she drove down to Gastonia, North Carolina to visit her sons, but she never showed up to meet them. She never made it down. She never met her sons down in Gastonia, North Carolina. So now he's concerned. He says hundreds of dollars are missing from their joint bank account. Take a listen to what he tells us are his biggest fears. Her being dead, overdose, or somebody, you know, shot her or killed her because of the drugs. Why can't she just be party? Now take a look at your screen again here. This car that you're seeing on your screen, this light blue Toyota Camry. This is the well, car she was last seen worse. driving. We're told the it. tags are Virginia tags and the license she plate reads skins for, for life. That's so keep your eye you out that. for that for that car all up and down um, the East Coast and especially down in North Carolina and here in the Chesterfield, Richmond area. Now, we've been told that she does have an extensive criminal history. We've also been told she has uh, some former drug addiction problems. And so those are some of the reasons that her husband is really concerned. He's worried that she may have been mixed up with the wrong crowd and the wrong people down in Gastonia, North Carolina. If you see her or you see um, that picture of the car that we just showed you, if you see that car anywhere, please do call Chesterfield Police at 748 one, two, five, one. Robin Skins for life. That's a memorable license tag. Keep your eyes open. Thanks, Jess. Uh, right now, this Central Virginia couple is in the hospital after a tree fell on their car, trapping them inside. 
happened on Route 218 in King George County. Uh, doctors put Gage Ford there into a medically induced coma because of his head injuries, and they're treating his girlfriend, Kara Smith, for fractures in her back, shoulder, and forearm. That tree fell on them while they were driving to visit friends back on July 3rd. There's the car. Uh, wow. Both had to be airlifted to the hospital. The good news is Kara is expected to be able to go home later this week. This morning, police in Chesterfield are looking for the man who broke into the King Deli on Belmont Road and stole more than 40 boxes of cigarettes. The burglary happened on July 9th. Police say the man used a garden timber to shatter the glass on the front door to get inside. If you know who this guy is, right here, call police. And a crime alert from Virginia State Police. They have just released a picture of a man who they say stole a gun from a gun hey, show at the Richmond International Raceway on July 11th. Now, according to investigators, the man walked up to a booth, took the gun, and snuck it out of the building. If you recognize him, call police. Happening today in battle, Virginia politician Joe Morrissey is back in the spotlight. Yeah, the two men sure. vying to replace him in the House of Delegates That's are right. squaring off today in a special election. Out. CBS 60 Jake Burns joins us live at the state capitol with a closer look at the candidates this morning. Jake? Yeah, Robin Reba, this is the second time this year the 74th District is going to hold a special election for this seat. You remember back in January, Joe Morrissey had stepped down. He ran as an independent during that special election, won, and then stepped down again to run for Virginia Senate. Now, the 74th District covers areas of Richmond, Eastern Henrico, and Charles City County, so only voters in that area will be able to cast ballots today. But on that ballot, there will be two names. Lamont Bagby is a Henrico County School Board member. He won the primary, the Democratic primary for this seat, by a wide margin a few months back. He's going to square off against David Lambert, and that last name is probably really familiar to people who follow Virginia politics closely. Lambert is the son of late state senator Benjamin Lambert, who passed away back in 2014. According to his campaign, though, David Lambert has spent his entire life around Virginia politics. Now, whoever wins this seat won't necessarily be in it too terribly long. This seat will be back up for re-election during the general election in November, but it's still going to be a very important vote because the General Assembly is going to convene for a special session in which they're going to redraw the congressional lines here in uh, Virginia. And so whoever wins this election today could play a key role in those conversations. Robin Reba. Wow. All right, we'll keep an eye on this. Joe Morsi again, back mm -hmm. in the spotlight. Uh, oh, Richmond no. Brewery is planning a massive expansion, but not in Richmond. Hardywood Park Craft Brewery plans to build a second location on 22 acres in Goochland County near the sprawling right. Capital One campus. The Richmond they Brewery chose this wooded like area off of Route 288 near West Creek you over spots in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, Chesterfield, and again in Richmond. Owner Patrick Murtaugh says that Richmond just didn't offer enough space for him. Capital One employee Liz Thompson says it's going to be nice to have the brewery as a neighbor. Near West Creek, you kind of either have to yeah, go over to Short Pump alcohol. where there's just, it tends to be more chains and that kind of thing. Um, so I think it'll be nice to have a place close by where you can just go meet up with coworkers and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murtaugh says that more than a million dollars from the state in grant money and another million in tax breaks from Goochland County sweeten the deal. The new location will be open in the spring of 2017 and is expected to bring in 56 new jobs. This morning, Chesterfield police are recognizing two officers for saving the life of a man whose home caught on fire. After seeing the flames just before midnight on Saturday, officers Zilablo and Tower went to the home of Alpha Locum Avenue to see if anyone was inside. They found a man inside who had just woken up and didn't seem to realize the house was on fire. So the officers removed the screen, pulled him out, and dragged him to safety just as firefighters arrived on the scene. Probably saved his life. Uh, what do we like to say, Kristen? Good on you. Good, Good on you. Good, Good on, on you. Good boys, right? Well, we do have construction zones that are out there in full effect right now. This is going to be Interstate 95 North. It's really bright. We have those headlights that are facing the camera, but nonetheless, you can see some of the amber lights here off to that right shoulder. This is 95 North in Henrico, close to Parham Road. It's the bridge right here. So we have some inspection going on, some maintenance taking place, and closing down two travel lanes. Right now, we're seeing just probably a few brake lights out there as folks are doing a great job sticking to that far left lane. And this is going to be the southbound direction, close to Parham. 
there's no delays there. Outdoor maps we go. We have a minor accident you need to know about before you go. It's going to be Interstate 64 East working from Henrico out into New Kent. It's close to Bottoms Bridge. Moments ago we were seeing a little bit of yellow on the screen. Green had changed over to yellow. Approaching Bottoms Bridge that's going to be 249 and it looks like everything changed back to green so fortunately that accident has been pushed off to the right shoulder and traffic is improving through the area. Rob, Reba. All right, thanks, Kristen. Well, it is a story parents need to see. The surprising new reason a majority of kids get bullied at school and why doctors say it's not just other students. Parents are doing it. Plus, school bus crash. The one thing police believe caused this to slam into the side of a building. And who was behind the wheel? Never gave him an inch. Never. And he just fought and fought and fought. A fellow POW breaks his silence. What this Virginia veteran is saying about Donald Trump's controversial remarks about fellow war hero John McCain and his message for the Republicans today. And a live look outside from our Dominion Sky Tracker cam. We've got another day of what's going to feel like triple digit heat heading our way. Nikki D is working for you in the Weather Center. She'll tell you when we could see some relief next. <laughs> to find the most romantic man in America. It's going to be one tight. This woman has saved my life. Grace for the crown. The most romantic man is... Today at 4 on CBS 6. Ah, the sound of our Woodfin generator. Every new Woodfin generator comes with a free two-year service agreement. Plus, we guarantee your generator will start right up when the power goes out. Oh, oh, Woodfin. Sell your house as is to Homebesters. We called Homebesters. They came out, looked at our home. We pay cash, can close quickly, and pay typical closing costs. There was just no stress. Call Homebesters today at 1 800 44 Buyer. Colonial Truck, your source for all things truck since 1966. Plus, we're Virginia's only exclusive Ford truck dealer. We know the right truck to fit your business. From sale to service, Colonial Truck, the home of truck buying made easy. Do you want your home to feel like a vacation home? Do you want to bring the best of the outdoors in? Then get a new sunroom from Champion. Trust Champion as your neighbors have. For over 60 years, Champion has transformed homes like yours with our American-made sunrooms, backed by our exclusive warranty. And now, get $5,000 off a brand new sunroom or pay no interest for 36 months. So call 888 champion today. For our $5,000 off a new sunroom offer, every home needs a Champion. College is going to be a lot of work. I know. But it'll be worth it. Here it comes. For adult women wishing to go back to school, now there's the American Women's College. Only, it's online, so you don't even have to leave home. Apply now for September classes. Time to get your dorm ready with $10 off your dorm or home purchase of $50 or more. Go to Colts.com to download your savings pass. Buy online and pick up in a store near campus. Be yourself, Colts. Is it my radiator? <laughs> What's that? Would you trust a beginner here? Then why sell your old house to a company you've never heard of? Trust Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people, America's number one.